a little uh, oven here. So much garbage all the streets here. People not picking nothing up, it's a joke. They're really lucky to see garbage everywhere. It's all coming from that house. And this guy built five suites. The house just only supposed to be two suites. They put so much garbage here and the garbage was all over the street because they were filling everything. Okay, well, we're off to, uh, gonna pay a bill right now. And then if I see something, the sign, if I see something left, along the way, I'm gonna pick it up. Every time I leave something behind to come back, it's gone. So I'm just gonna pick it up and take it. Okay. Lawnmower, a little bit early, early season, but still lawnmower. Hmm, might work. Not seized. Looks pretty good. I think it's a Honda, if I remember. Is it Honda? No, Craftsman. Okay. This is the air filter. Okay. I don't know if that's uh, stainless steel. Actually, a vacuum on that side, but. This thing's heavy. Let's see here anything. I might just grab the cord off that vacuum. Think something. A transformer. This thing could be stainless. Not super heavy, but a little bit of copper and brass at the back. Hmm. It's all stainless. Okay. Good little score. Might even have an actual copper tank in there. Who knows? commercial right or stainless steel tank for sure okay okay another microwave just like that oh that's a heavy one there's a tree up there a christmas tree up the road i'm gonna grab it's in a box oh it's a really heavy one it might be old one maybe Sometimes the Danbys come back copper, not too often, but I've seen the odd one come back copper. That being really heavy, you never know. So trees right here on the side. I can't believe a few things here and there. Not bad. Lucky I did a couple loops. You just never know. Don't 
Yeah, all the lights should still be working. Oh, okay, sounds good. Thanks. Might work. Okay. okay I got a commercial, uh, uh, some sort of a. Uh, could be like a hot water thing, could be coffee machine, I'm not really sure. Might be coffee, I don't know. But in the event, it's probably a, a burner and uh, heat your stuff up. But this probably, it says, uh, funnel containers upright. So some sort of coffee thing. Hot water dispenser. Anyways, it's a, it's a bun, B-U-N-N. -N. Bun is a pretty popular commercial. You see them around pretty pretty often. All the major like 7-Elevens and all those places. So uh, we got some uh, brass right here in the back, which is nice. Nice to get a little bit of brass right, right off the bat. Wow, it's very heavy. Maybe it's a filter or something. Anyways, it's um, brass, a little bit of copper. It means there'll be a tank in there. And there'll be another uh, bunch of coils to heat up the stuff. Hopefully the tank is copper. Which is probably not too often, I don't think, but... Never know. That, where I got it from, that guy throws all kinds of appliances out all the time. Fridges. So uh, if stuff can't sell, they chuck it out. So, not too worried if it worked or not. But my experience is everything they throw out is junk. There's a lot of fridges in there. Fridges and appliances, stoves. Haven't had nothing there for a while, but just never know. Lots of flathead screws here. And you know that I, I hate flatheads, but anyways. You just gotta line it up and you gotta keep it even. Since everything's wet or greasy, it makes it harder. Still better than using uh, a screwdriver. Okay, well, right off the bat, aluminum, but it's got a, a coating on it. The salt, the way it is. Just like a little bit of vinyl. So the outer shell will be aluminum, and there'll be stainless steel mix. It's kind of what I thought, thought it would be. Strip that one actually. What's going on here? Hmm. Ridiculous. It's a flat screwdriver too, but let's try to Avoid the flatheads, but Come on. 
it's just complicated. Either they're too tight or the bit doesn't want to fit in there. Well, they are pretty tight. This one's probably a little too fine. Two here can be problems. Actually, have density. Just kind of get my tools tools out until I have all my tools out. Then I be more organized. Hold it too. You see nothing on the feet. Weird. Just tap off. Too bad. It's probably these things really hard to repair because you cannot get the screws out properly. Either rusted or glued up. And coffee and whatever. Oh, it's a steel. Steel. Until later, I we'll have to unscrew this. Maybe the pliers or something might do it. It's in pretty good. Okay. So the screws go down. So how do I get those screws? See how see how they make this here. It'll make it easier for you. Scrap it. The screws go that way. 
and there's bolts that way. Let's see if we can um, take some of the stuff out. Now this is from the pickup yesterday. I was gonna show you that's actually a piece of copper. So we have people dead. This letter opener has got a little dog there, but a piece of copper. So this lid's gotta come off somehow. One screw up here. There it is. So this should be stainless. Oh, this knockout steel. I don't know why they do that. The knockout has to be steel, but this is stainless. Does that make sense? Save a nickel, let's save a nickel. You know what I mean? I think this has to come out here. See that stainless, just judging by the weight. Stainless, stainless. It's a little headway now. Well, look at the copper sticking out. I need to get an extension actually. Switch here. Keep that switch for maybe something. Let's say these are stainless too, probably. No, stainless. It's really dirty, this thing, huh? You know, it might look clean on the inside, but the inside is filthy. I'm not sure if it gets your, gets your food or the water, but uh, 
You obviously can't clean the inside, right? Piece of caster. The question is these little inserts here. Palms are stainless steel. Come out. Hmm. Actually, just cut to the edge of it. here stainless I guess these ones you just gotta loosen this thing like that Put the magnet on here. Get these. These corner things have to come out. It's reinforcing in there actually. Here, step on. Okay, I pounded that out. It's a little bit tough. Had to really hammer it. It's a big tank here.
We'll start cutting some of this copper off. Actually, some pretty pretty good stuff in this. Good value. This is so, so hard to cut. We're real thick, I guess, or something. cast aluminum here. Okay, a little copper here too. here oh I'm still why it's so hard oh definitely definitely really thick thick stuff I think Stuff, I think. Okay. Probably stainless steel here. No. Stainless. screws here but just so hard, everything's so hard to uh, if I had deep sockets right I have no deep sockets and this will go nope no nope. deep sockets handy that's a problem nope. trying to break it if you know what I mean Here it's got a little water filter here. 
seal. Brass. It's actually a lot of good value here, I can't believe it. Let me just get the face off here. Just with the glasses, I can't see nothing, so I don't want to smash it. I'm just going to unscrew this here, and then uh, I'll move some of this stuff and I'll show you in a second. Okay. Too hard to get the screws out. I think this is all stainless too. Yeah, these things are built really good. They're not. All good, good metals. Steel. One more here. It's got a seal here. I'm gonna try to break it. Ooh, look at the coil. Probably not copper. Maybe, maybe not. That's pretty nice. Water inside. Well, everything is good. There's no garbage. Very little. I'm thinking this is copper. This coil has got to be copper. I think. Copper coil. It's a nice copper. Got a couple pounds probably. And the copper tube here. This should come out. Copper rod. Well. If you see one of those side of the road, or you can pick it up for five bucks, you can make money, I guess. Hopefully. Okay, and I have to one side on vice grips, I think. It was and then I'm gonna loosen this outer one first. Should be a bigger, bigger wrench. Okay, I gotta 
expecting a call here, step Jen's on. here from uh, YouTube, Scrap Bongo. He brought me a uh, dishwasher to play with. So how you doing? Not too bad, just running around. Did a little scrap drop off there. Hey, what you, you got a TV set already, huh? Oh yeah, that was just in there from before. You can have that too. It was just, uh, I was just gonna pull it apart. You're not gonna take it, if you take it apart yourself, it's okay. I mean, if you don't yeah, want it like that. Didn't a, have enough time, but you, you know, welcome to it. But, uh, so you bought me some gold. This one's kind of interesting. It's Look a good this. one too. It's got a metal, metal yeah, case, it's, it's heavy. Frame and then yeah, that'll be aluminum for sure. Yeah, it's painted, eh? Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's wire. probably from the 60s. This is probably yeah. copper here. Yeah, a little transfer. Hey, I want to show you something I got here. I picked up this lawnmower this morning. A tree and a few things, right? But I'll, I'll show you what I picked up here. I'm still working on, on my video, but... It was a, a bun coffee heater. Look at this coil. Oh, That's man. a copper coil. That's nice, eh? I was trying to cut this stuff. I was wondering why I couldn't cut it. It was so thick. Jeez. It's all cool. copper and brass, right? Then I have all this here. Still. Yeah. And it's all stainless steel, aluminum, and copper... Air brass, so I'm just working on here. You yeah. had a phone call, right? Really nice, yeah. Yeah, the scrap prices aren't too bad. I picked up two uh, microwaves today too, with transformers. Yeah, I saw your video where you're unloading all this from that. Yeah, but I picked up two this today, and I picked all this up here today. Man, doing all right. Yeah, and I'm working. I should get all this clean in the bin today. I'll maybe, I'll make another row. Yeah. My goal is to make one more row, and then uh, put stuff on top, and then I'm just working my way back. Yeah. So every square inch gets covered, right? Uh, that's in my inventory right now. Yeah, you got about nine or ten appliances. To a few go more there. and a couple here. Not bad at all. You're doing well. You're not bad. So hey, yeah. Tell me about your channel. So what do you what do you what's in the future for you? Uh, well, a couple things. Like you said, uh, four. I'm, work, I'm gonna work on this this week, hopefully. Or the week coming. I want to build up the sides. You had some good recommendations. Here, yeah, right? he wants to build the sides like higher so that he could actually, like, he wants to kind of make the body style, but. He wants to be able to put stuff in here instead of tying things flat. It's too low to sides. Yeah, with the net and all that, it's, it's kind of a hassle with the straps, right? You so put something in there and cover it up nice and easy, quick, right? So well, tell me about this vehicle. What is it? Where's it uh, come from? Japan. This yeah? Is, this what is year? 2005 Mazda Bongo. Bongo. That's why you call it Scrap Bongo. So, hence, hey, man, that's hence, okay. Hence the name of the channel, yeah. You ever watch, uh, I think, uh, was it called Bongo or something? It was this TV show where they Mazda banged Bongo. it? Yeah. That's where I, when you said that, I was thinking that same time exactly. when I saw your channel. It's, it's kind of unique. The Japanese vehicles are pretty cool. They've got the sides. Well, this they're all about uh, saving energy and f low fuel cost. And you can see that's cool, huh? Sides fold down, a couple pins, out it comes. You get, like, that's why I kind of recommend it if you went a little bit higher here. Yep. You know, say it went a little bit low and you have kind of a ramp to, to roll up. Yeah, you could do a ramp there, couldn't you? Well, just enough so you could slide, right? Yeah. And you could put. I wonder if you can even just bolt something on. Bolt on even plywood or plastic. Yeah. You know, like that uh, bed frame. Yeah. The bed rails. Uh, yeah. No. The. Uh, I mean, I mean, um, those uh, bed liners. You know how they got those little vertical lines. Yeah, yeah. That will make it easy to slip up there. That's what I'm saying. If you go like this, say for instance, you know, say you're up to here, like matching, right. it's going to give you an angle like this. You can exactly. slide up stuff easier. Yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Right, and if yeah. you're really desperate enough, you can put actually a little come along, come along thing, like electric one. And you can slide it right up if you want. Exactly, yeah. Just mount it to the back. But, yeah, you don't need much, right? It's just gonna slide it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think yeah. this is five feet by eight feet, right? Yeah, a bit more than five actually. Yeah, five and a half or so by eight. So it's a decent size. It's not the big ones, but it's not the small ones. You can get it. One, one. This is a good size. Like it's better in a van, but the only thing is you, you know, stuff gets wet, but. Yeah, so if you could square it out and put even some sort of maybe removable top, maybe canvas top. Yeah, I've got I've got the, the uh, plastic tarps there I use. Yeah, because all you do is you just put a removable thing. If you have a high fridge, you can yep. pop the canvas off, put the fridge in, you know what I'm saying? Or even like your truck. On a nice day. you got a roller there, right? Yeah. I just built in a roller system there. A lot of potential there. You know, keep the walls up up to this site. A little tarp goes across the back there and then you're good to go. So yeah, it's good on gas. How what so, is the fuel mile? How many k to uh, kilometers to a uh, tank? Uh, it depends. Well, you know, stop and go. Just on average. So you know, four hundred kilometers or so, but it's only like sixty dollars to fill the tank. So sixty Canadian, right? Yeah, sixty Canadian. Four hundred kilometers. Yep. Yeah. And you know, our fuel is right now like a dollar seventy-two or more a liter. So. Yeah, not cheap fuel, but uh, you know, we make it work. Any yeah. words to your fans? No, no. I got started because of Phil. 
A lot of guys give me that. Hey, I, I was, uh, you know, I got right? inspiration of uh, watching me take stuff apart and yes. and then start doing it, right? It's a good way to spend an evening, So, you know? so okay, your channel's called, Sca say it again? Uh, Scrapongo. Scrapongo. So you guys want to subscribe to my buddy here? Obviously, we all stick together. Scrappers unite, right? He's bringing me scrap. A lot, not, you know, don't see that too often on other, other businesses, right? So that's awesome. The community is great. Absolutely. Okay, so don't forget to check them out. Scrap Bongo. Yeah, appreciate it. And the Bongo comes from the truck made in Japan. Okay, guys. Perfect. Give them some, some love and support. Thanks. Okay, we're back to strip this here. Kind of work backwards. I had to... Uh, well, first I was talking to Ken there and it kind of got late and then ended up uh, doing something else and then I made a different portion of my video. So we'll film me backwards, but anyways, just got this one to clean here and something over there. It's kind of nice to see Ken come by here and help me with that dishwasher. Ken from uh, Scrap Bongo. Hey Ken, if you're watching my video again, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate any scrap, whatever you don't want or something that you're kicking around. You know, I know. You were uh, kind of pressed for time and you figured, you know, just dump it off here just so that you can do your normal things for the day. This place stainless here, I would think. I think we're going to be in good shape here. Tight. Can't believe the amount of brass coming out of this thing and stainless steel. Aluminum, super good. Like really, really good. Oh, come on. I cut that thing and I might, might jam up now. This will probably be like a stainless steel mix. They, they put a the powder on the inside with the heating element in the center. Let's see. It's just going to be steel. Well, it's stainless, but they don't really buy it as a dirty stainless, that's a problem. Because the stove elements, they say, put in a shred. It's like a stove element, it's the same thing. Oh, that's heavy, look at that. It just blows me away, the amount of uh, scrap here. It's like awesome, this thing. Like I scrap a lot of stuff out, but when I saw this on the side of the road, I thought, you know, it can be full of copper, a little copper tank even. We'll weigh it up for sure, see what it, what it all comes out to. Should be a good payday. Let's 
So you don't know until you, you kind of take stuff apart, you experiment. That's why I do these videos to ed educate people. Because you you might say, oh, you know, it's going to shred, right? It's going to shred. You're losing losing tons of money. Even this thing here is copper. Yep, copper. Even got a copper little push mortar here, solenoid. Yeah, I just gotta grab a couple tools, stand by. That's um stainless steel screws. Well they're all chucked in the garbage already. Well, I chucked them over there, so technically still still getting money for them, but not stainless. Not stainless price, but anyways. Here, but not that much. Cold stainless. Imagine building this thing from scratch. You even got a circuit board. What's got? It's a timer. Somehow a timer. It's got an IC chip. Might be aluminum too. No. Wow, it just, just keeps coming. Okay. I'm going to have to break this knob off here because I don't... Well, let's see. Probably don't have it. It's a very tiny one. Torx. Looks super tiny. Could be Ellen Key. You know, sometimes it's quicker just to hammer it. I found my glasses somewhere. They were here somewhere. Where did I put them? Up here. Okay, here's my other tools. I just find this just the axe works so much easier. See? I'm gonna waste time. You know, aluminum, see? Low grade circuit board. Keeps on giving. Never fails. This is gonna have something good in here. I can see it. I think it's a spool of copper or something in this thing. Well, the contacts for sure, but could also be better stuff inside it. Long screws. It's 
contacts for sure. I can see connection points. And, okay, it's spring spring loaded. It's just a little too thick. Well, ooh, nice little silver contacts there, actually. It's all steel, but I'm going to pull the contacts off right there. There's your money shot right there. See that? It's only silver, but. Yeah, the spool is gone. Usually there's a, a copper spool in there. Not there. I tried. There's a contact here. Where if it's too hard, so leave it. Almost there. I'll just take this off first here. You know what, this is going to be stainless, so I'm going to just leave it in there, I guess. It's not. Come. Why would the one nut, every else, every else is stainless, this nut has to be steel. Last one in the whole place. Stupid thing. Screw stainless, but the nut isn't. Okay. Okay, last thing we have is the mortar. So, I'm going to throw in the vise. Try to take the center part out. Part of my copper, the radiator from yesterday. There's a little bit of copper on here with we'll the shreds. Majority is here. Okay, only thing was you don't have a weight on wire. 
But the main stuff we're hell to wait. Let me clean stuff up here. We'll get the totals, get the scale out. You can see exactly what we got out of here. Okay. Okay. All stripped out. So we're going to weigh it by the lowest category of metals. Aluminum is the cheapest at the moment. 3.3 pounds. So let's say, uh, say three and a quarter pounds. 0.3 is like one third of a pound. So anyways, that's 3.3 pounds. Then we have stainless steel clean. I just can't believe how how productive this thing was. It's like incredibly good. 12 pounds stainless steel. And it's like Ken showed me a slip today. I think it was around 76 cents a pound right now, which is a little bit lower. 12 pounds even. Stainless steel. It's gotta love it. Yeah, very nice, very nice totals. And then now uh, we're gonna go brass. One point nine pounds of brass, almost two pounds just brass alone. So that is super. Gotta love that. The little trinkets all will start adding up. So you guys can do the math because if you're in your, you, where you live, you know how much you get for your metals, right? If I tell you. It's, Brass is three dollars a pound. You might only get two dollars, so you can decide on what it might turn out in your your state or town or country. Okay, look at this coil alone. Two pound coil, awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be heavy stuff here. And it's all. I mean, someone's the number one, number two. Two point eight pounds of copper. This is actually, to be honest, number one. Because it was water cooled, it didn't have oil in here. Uh, most of this tubing here is all going to be number one, except the tinted wire and this hair hairball there. So okay, well, let's just we'll take out. Let's just classify the number two. Take that out right away. This will be all number one. Um, no real solder there that I can see. Two and a half pounds and number one, number one copper, 2.6 actually. So I'll have to actually separate that because I have number one sitting at home and that's about maybe 30 cents difference. It's okay if you have, you know, 30, 40 pounds of mix, it's okay. But when you have larger amounts, which I'm trying to do, better to separate it. So total weight, copper, 2.8 pounds. And copper's worth, this stuff's worth probably at least, I don't know, 430, 440 maybe. So it's a good value, really good value here. And everything was used up. There was very little steel. You saw it, just a few pieces. So I'm super happy if I see this side of the road anywhere. I'm going to take a U-turn right away and grab it. And you might be able to buy something instead of flea market, beat up, dented up for $5, $10. It'd be worth even buying for $5, $10, right? Copper is ten dollars alone, but free is better, right? But if you can get a whole bunch of stuff for dirt cheap or free, there's a lot of value. Definitely worth taking apart. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, check out Scrap Bongo's channel. Subscribe to say you uh, you see you seen him on my channel. Give him some love. All the best. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.